piece of tool draw in this behind closed doors friendly with Evsleep. What's your thoughts on that one? Uh, far better than Saturday. Um, whether whether it's the uh, attitude and application that's changed, but we're far much much happier than, than we were on Saturday. Obviously, um, very real competitive game uh, played in really hot temperatures, and the the commitment and the, the attitude the players put in was was spot on. A few less trialists involved today, yeah. which is obviously a, a plus for us. Then <laughs> a return for Harry Taylor, etc. Yeah. That must be a real positive as well to have them back in the side as, lo- as well as Efron, who obviously yeah, got yeah. the source sheet. All, all of the ones, so so JJ, Harry Taylor, Efron back in again today. So and and as we said last on Saturday, it's a process. We need to go through our pre-season and try and be you know very sort of analytical with all of it because obviously we're trying to catch up a little bit we're probably a week 10 days maybe even more behind some of the other teams and again I think Ebsleet have played four or five friendlies already so that's only our second one of which we had almost almost two different 11s not quite two different 11s but maybe an 11 and then a eight changes at half time so again so we're still a work in process um, so uh, so like I said, really pleased with the way they've applied themselves today some of the play was great uh, some of it was good, the goals were good, um, nice and positive and, and hopefully the things we're now implementing through our weeks of training are now starting to, starting to, hopefully, they're starting to get on board. One positive from that second half is definitely the link up between JJ Hooper and Josh Walker. Straight away they got on it for JJ's goal. You're always going to say that, aren't you, with, with Josh, JJ getting his goal. But yeah, it was great work from Josh. In fact, it was a nice piece of play from the, from the back uh, with uh, Tafari and, and Kalik. Uh, so they they worked it quite well, and obviously they're both goal scorers, you know. So uh, so they're going to be in the right areas at the right times, and and JJ was there today to to slot in uh, from uh, from um, Josh's Josh's work. So so yeah, listen, mostly positives from today. Certainly not as many negatives as there was on Saturday, and and for me it was purely about the change of attitude in the way they've applied themselves for the game. So so that's all great, and and like I said, it's a it's a forward a big, a big forward step for us from Saturday. Uh, we, Briefly mentioned it on Saturday. Have you got any further update on any incomings? Oh, well, not updates, but we're but we're again a work in process. Mm-hmm. Uh, listen, it, it, I'd love to be able to come out and go, yeah, we've got this and we've got this, we've got this. Mm-hmm. but at the moment it's still hard work to to bring in the right type of player. So obviously there are uh, there are lots lots of we've got lots of fingers in lots of pies at the moment, but obviously we're just waiting for one or two of them to drop but hope, you know who knows by by the beginning of the next week we might have another maybe one or two additions and. As a whole, as a squad, as you said, as it, with it being a process, yeah. how pleased are you with where we're at in terms of the process leading up to the first game? The process leading up to the game is, is, is we're certainly fitter than we were two weeks ago. Um, the, the sharpness is starting to come back now in the games, and you've seen that in the game today. Um, so, like I said, so we are, you know, we're, we're for the for the short space of time we've had, they've made huge steps already in their in their progress with their fitness and their attitude towards their training. Um, and hopefully that will continue so that by the by like I said, as by the time we get to Eastleigh, we will be ready. Um, and that's that's always our aim and like I said, and that's the way you work through your your process to get to to get to that first competitive game of the season and, and be ready. Um, and like I said, if we can add a few more in the next week or two, ten days or so, then we'll be we'll be nearly ready.